Two folks from the lower 48 are ready to take on the challenge of Alaska's wild, untamed rivers. To get to the best fishing areas in Alaska, you have to fly in. And there never was a more delightful piece of equipment for the fishermen than an airplane that can land on the water. The witching was tremendous. It was loud, noisy, it was exciting. Within minutes of heading out from Anchorage, you're engulfed in wilderness. And one of the best remote areas for sport anglers is the Bristol Bay region. Jake's Wilderness Outfitters is strategically located in the core of this fisherman's haven and offers not only great fishing, but just about every comfort you could want while roughing it. Sleeping tents have cots with mattresses, tables, all the conveniences of home, basically. We even have a little shower. It's surrounded by a little tarp and things and get to dance around there. One advantage of a river camp like Jake's is the location right on the churning fish pack Togiak River. I came to Alaska from the East Coast. I've never done any of this kind of fishing before. The fishing's a lot better. There's, there's strikes all the time. You get tired from pulling them all in. I've basically been fishing for bluefish and flounder and uh, sea bass and drum on the Chesapeake Bay. Normally you get a flounder that'll weigh two or three pounds, but when you're here, five, six pounds is nothing. And it's really exciting, you know, pulling in. Got him. Here he is. Oh, oh, what's that? That's something different, you guys. Hey! <laughs> it looks like a tiger. It feels like one. <laughs> He's got black and he's like yellow and black striped and whoa, whoa. Sometimes the fish seem almost oh, eager to be caught. Oh, another one chasing. Yeah. This chum salmon fights with the fury of a champion wrestler and finally snaps the line. Oh, oh shoot. But there's plenty more where he came from. This is where the big fish are and where the lot of them are. Came down this couple days ago and we sure found them. Well, I've got a small six and a half a split bamboo rod that I like to use and uh, it'll convert from fly rod to horse spinning rod and you've got six, seven on a fish that you can catch on a very light pole and a very light line and uh, it really gives uh, the fish the advantage depending on just how big he is and how hard he wants to fight and for me that's the real challenge of fishing is one getting them on the line and the other is getting them on the the bank and uh, getting all the fight you can out and giving them a chance too uh, it also does uh, with the smaller lures and things it gives it does a lot less damage to the fish so that when you turn them loose they're gonna survive a lot better Good. Not on my chin either. It's incredible that your arm, my last night my arms were tired, just leaning back, just dollies one after another. We hit this one dolly haul and I was stooping over and bending over and picking them up and letting them go and casting out more and more. It's continuous action. <laughs> and with so many fighting sport fish, it's no wonder fishermen lose so many flies. A lot of times we run out of flies up here because people go through them pretty quick and the fish take a lot with them. Can you tie me another one of those? Sure, I'm things? whipping up some polar shrimps here and that was a nice big chum you had on this morning and you just snapped it there, huh? Took the fly, huh, Will? Yeah, didn't have a chance. Is there a live polar shrimp then that's in these rivers? Uh, there's no live shrimp in this river, but it, the bay is so close by that the fish are used to taking them. What do you think we'll get on that? Oh, we'll catch, uh, there's still pinks coming in thick now, and still a lot of fresh chums and some kings we've been hooking on these. Think it makes them mad, or are they just, uh... On the dollies, they'll be eating in here, and which your salmon just spawn and die off. And they're mostly taking it because it irritates them, and it's in front of them, and it's aggravating their 
laying their eggs there. And there she is. Uh, let's get this one on the leader there and go catch some fish. I'm ready. The LP's getting tired of the pressure, Ann. Come over this way, boy. Uh. Oh. I see you got one. Is that, that on the fly I tied? Yeah, no, I got this on a Cheeto.